Okay. Let's do this. This board is not feeling good under my arms at all. And that thing I was talking about earlier where sometimes you pick them up and it, it goes brr, the weight. This board feels like it has that. But you never know, dude. This is the 12th board, the last board, and I gave it a pretty poor review before I paddled out. It feels kind of luggy and more weight comes back on the tail, but it actually went pretty good, I thought. No, scratch that. I was really stoked on it. Some of the other ones were more like sensitive and I had to be perfectly standing perfect and not turn too hard, but I could like turn kind of tight whereas this one just felt like i could just go Rawr! and uh i like that feeling a lot it's exciting so so maybe for sure it's gonna stay stick around the the sickest part about this board is i have absolutely no clue who shaped it in my brain i think i know like most of them but well, then there's just no more like popular shapers left. So I just have no idea who this, is, who this is. So in my brain, we have two finalists and four boards going for two, for the last two spots in the final. Four man heat, top two make it. I, I left my house, walked down these stairs and then sure enough, Chloe and Dino Stabbing the dark boards. <laughs> I'm gonna go surf with <laughs> I no, I didn't even look at his board. I didn't want to know. Like if it works good or bad or whatever, I was like, I don't, I didn't even want to like take a peek at it, try to figure out if it was mine. I have no idea. Don't even tell me what number it is. I don't even want to know, dude. I, I like to, my wife loves to watch a movie and like she'll like if we're watching the movie on Netflix, it's like a true story or something, like based on a true story, she'll be like Googling what really fucking happened. And I'm the opposite. I'm like, don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm the don't tell me guy. It's been a long time since I won one. We'll see. John Pizel's unplanned in-person cameo in this year's Stab in the Dark isn't his first. However, his presence in Jack Robinson's 2022 edition was decidedly less serendipitous as the action unfolded a short walk from John's house. On our first down day of the trip and while Kolohe was out of the house, we interrupted Pizel's vacation by offering a friendly invite to come inspect his and the other 12 Stab in the Dark boards in this year's test. This is a, this, this could be the mayhem. This is, this is a JS. Nope. Okay, no, wrong. Sharp eye. <laughs> Chili? That has got a lot of nose rocker. I'm gonna guess Rusty. God. Is this a borst? It is? So this has gotta be... This has gotta be the Pukas. Oh my God, why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> 